To manage distributing and installing this fine product, you as an administrator have three basic options. Click on our three dots and then click Manage. You'll be taken from the Shop section to the Management page for Minecraft Education Edition. So from this page, you can assign users with this link or download an install file to a thumb drive for local distribution. So let's start with Assign Users. Clicking this link will bring up this dialog where you can add the Office 365 education email addresses for your people. Anyone on your school domain with these credentials should show up in this list as you enter their email addresses, and you can click to select them by name. So I'm going to enter three names, Allison, John, and Jane. Click Assign, and each one is sent an email with a link and instructions to install Minecraft Education Edition. This is a great way to get teachers and students involved in the setup process. If you need to assign licenses to users in bulk, contact the Minecraft team through the Support tab at education.minecraft.net, and they can help you out. By default, Minecraft Education Edition is also added to your private store upon purchase, and is available for self-service installation by your students and educators through the Store app on a Windows 10 device. So, behind our three dots, we want to select Turn On Auto Assign Subscription to ensure any users installing from the private store will claim a full license from your inventory. If Auto Assign is off, users will receive a trial license from the private store. The private store option allows anyone in your organization logged in with their Office 365 education credentials to access the private store through the store app on a Windows 10 device and install from there. It's easy. They just click on their Start button, select the store app, click your private store tab, and click on Minecraft Education Edition. Click the Install button, and they are adding Minecraft on that device. See how easy it is? But how do you know who has been assigned a license? Well, you can see the list of everyone that has been assigned a license here. Being the administrator also allows you to reclaim licenses when you need to. These three dots over here give you that option like this. This reclaims your license and would return this user to a trial version the next time they log in. That's the basics of assigning users a license and allowing them to install themselves. The other option is to download a zip file and do a local installation on each device, or use a management tool like Microsoft Intune or System Center. Let's check this out. From your Manage link, click the three dots once again, and here you see the link to download. Select it, click Download, and you should see a dialog asking where you'd like to save the file. Clicking Save, should download the file to your default download folder, or click Save As if you'd like to select a specific place to download the file, like the desktop or directly onto a thumb drive. Make your selection, click Save, and a progress prompt should appear allowing you to count down to Minecraft awesomeness. Once you have the install file downloaded and unzipped, you'll also see a text file with instructions for installation on local devices. Double-click the installer and follow the prompts to get Minecraft Education Edition installed. Now, because the licenses correspond to each user's Office 365 education account, even if you do local installations, your Manage page will still keep track of licenses. So this works great on shared devices or one-to-one -one devices. Thanks for watching this video. We can't wait to welcome you into the Minecraft Education community and see what you create with your students. If you have any more questions or need additional information, please visit education.minecraft.net to learn more. Adios.